guys what's going on welcome back to the channel we got another big video another world first i think uh at least on youtube today we're gonna make our 2021 mach 1 a lot louder hopefully with help from corsa i've searched youtube high and low on the internet as well in the different forms and i have not seen another mach 1 with the corsa double x pipe so there's been various other people out there with the double h pipe and single x pipe designs from different companies but not the double x pipe from corsa so today we're going to wake this thing up we're going to make it louder if you guys pay attention to the channel every single video then you saw the last one we did different wheels and these are not it so what's up with these let's spin the camera let's talk about it real quick before we get into the video because i think this is going to make a lot of you guys pretty happy Yep, <laughs> track pack wheels. This is the OEM wheel, well, Ford Performance, but same OEM from the handling pack Mach 1. So we did the spoiler back there with the wicker build, the gurney flap. We're patiently waiting. It's been like a month almost since we've ordered the front lip there. We still need to put the splash guards on the rear, but the last missing piece was the wheels. And I got to tell you, these might actually stay on the car. These things are freaking gorgeous. I spent a couple of days ceramic coating them. I put a couple of coats on it and uh, gave it some cure time. Wrapped them in Michelin Pilot 4S tires. I did not go with the Cup 2s because I wanted a little bit of Street Fun Plus track. I might actually get another set of these and just put Cup 2s on them and then I'll just have one of each. I wanted to get them because I love the way they look on the handling pack cars and that's ultimately what we're trying to do is piece this thing together. But enough about wheels guys, I just wanted to you know point out the obvious because it's a little bit different than what you saw in the last video. So let's head back to the garage though and install a double X pipe and then we're just going to breeze through it. I'm not going to do like a step by step or nothing like that. There's, it's been done over and over and over. But then we're going to take it on the road and give you a thorough test drive review because the mufflers on the Mach 1 are different than your regular Mustang GT. So I do want to tell that story and let you guys hear how that sounds uh, with as much detail as I can bring to the video. So guys, let's go. Boom, we have our double X pipe that we're going to use in conjunction with the factory OEM mufflers. Now, sounds a little bit different than your regular GTs. And of course we have those massive four and a half inch tips, but sound a little bit more deep and a little bit more gurgly than your regular Mustang GT, but we're going to step it up a notch with our double X pipe from Corsa. So, um, I believe that we are going to be the first one, like I said, to actually do this, at least on the internet, maybe in the world entirely. So lots of people are doing the double H pipe or even a single X pipe, but I don't know of anybody that's running the double X pipe from Corsa in conjunction with the factory muffler and the stock headers. So your kit comes with your normal step downs for your exhaust. Now, what Corsa did was they also sent me different ones for the GT350. They wanted to make sure that we had the right size step downs to use, um, but you know, Corsa just wanted to make sure so they sent me everything that they thought that I would need. So since according to them, we are the first one in the world to be running the double X. My first time underneath of my new Mach 1 and everything looks GT, okay? So the exhaust, I'm pretty sure it's uh, all the same, but this is pretty cool. So check all this out. This is all of your arrow and everything that's underneath the car, even all the way up to the front there. But I mean, and here's like your diff cooler and all that, but all this stuff is like GT350, GT500 stuff on these cars, which is, you know, uh, what a lot of people don't understand and don't know about the Mach 1 is it's so far and different than a regular Mustang GT. I'm gonna make a video in the future, like everything, like detailed that's different between, I mean, even look at that, like look at all the right up in there. Guys, I gotta highlight this. So check out the front tires there with the 305s in the front. Oh my gosh, dude, those are massive 305s in the front. Dude, they're freaking huge. It's not scary at all. Good clean cut. Double X pipe is in. I kind of figured it was all GT anyway, but uh, this confirms it. So it is all GT stuff and uh, it fits the same as 2015 and up. But looks good. All the cuts were perfect, came up clean. Just deburr the edges and then, uh, then 
The toughest part, honestly, is just making sure that your tips are, you know, even.
back it down a little bit. We're not trying to get to an accident. <laughs> Crazy, crazy, crazy. I guess this is kind of an exhaust and a tire review at the same time. I'm not even a track. This is just, uh, the suspension is not even in track mode. This is nuts. I'm easily going 30 plus mile an hour faster through those turns than I ever would think to do before. This is nuts. Just an extra little bit of grip. Um, and the steering and everything it feels so flat and stable the Mach 1 is it dude this is a freaking phenomenal car that's gonna wrap up the video I think kind of a double whammy uh, in this one in the sense that we're kind of reviewing the extra grip that we've added to the car and of course the double X pipe which I think sounds fantastic so the, the nature behind the double X is supposed to smooth out the, the, any rasp is supposed to smooth out the noise that comes out of the back of these uh, mufflers which sound really good so like I said like you guys are familiar with the Mach 1 being a little bit different than a regular GT and I think that it's got still a really deep sound yeah I think that it sounds good I think it's a home run I think that uh, you should buy one by the way I have discount codes for Corsa Xander 13 go to their website CorsaPerformance.com and save you some money on anything that you find there use promo code Xander 13 and I don't get anything from it that's just simply for you guys to be able to save and uh, yeah I'm digging the car so far loving it get ready for more content I'm kind of sticking to uh, certain videos in order yeah with a little bit of leeway but uh, just a, you know depending on weather and so on and so forth so uh, I do want to wait till we get 1,000 miles which we're 300 away uh, for that first red line wide open throttle review and uh, I want to see what it feels like up top and uh, and bring you that that content and then find some more twists and turns and uh, have some fun on the road but guys if you're new here please subscribe please share the videos god bless all of you and i'll see you next time goodbye